Hello, Lake Tao. How are you guys doing? December 26th, the day after the big event, the world's biggest simp session. How's that? Aaron with Christian men going their own way. Had a little fun this uh, Christmas, last Christmas day on the way down to, excuse me, too much Dr. Pepper clogging me up. A little fun on the road trip down to, uh, to uh, see the parents. Uh, and I was thinking we had an incident on the way down. Someone uh, on a two lane road, I was going by, so I don't know, whatever, I'm not going to say how fast it's going. But uh, someone turned left from the right lane in front of me was going to turn into the median on the, in the inside of the, uh, the uh, roadway. So he was making a left turn from the right lane as I was passing him. Caught the back of my car, my little uh, Honda, and uh, we're flying down the road. And knocked the back of my car loose and I would uh, and, uh, do a flat spin. But uh, nothing happened. The back of the car got scraped up, but some, something else happened in the process. My brother was with me, the passenger side of the car, and uh, he grabs the steering wheel. And I couldn't react. I was trying to focus on driving. I couldn't turn the wheel because he had his hand on it. And this dumb bastard did not even have his seatbelt on. So, this got me thinking about who's, are you in control? Are you in control of your life? And, you know, that's subject to a lot of people's interpretation. Uh, we like to think we're in control of our lives, you know, and some of us do a pretty good job of it. Uh, as a man, uh, an in independent man going my own way, I don't like to receive a lot of help from people. Um, it'll cause me to become lazy. Uh, from time to time, I will ask somebody for a quick loan if there's a good hot deal that I want, and then I'll pay him off as fast as I can and give him interest. Because uh, if I'm borrowing money from somebody, I don't want to be just borrowing it and giving it right back. I want it to, I want it to benefit them because it's usually uh, some form of a business transaction that I want want to this piece of machinery for or whatever it be. So it's basically a business. Uh, and therefore, I want to treat their loan as business or their, their uh, gratefulness to do such things. But uh, uh, they make it worth their while. But anyways, about being in control, my brother is a guy who has absolutely no control of his life right now. He's out on bond, uh, living with me. He's a, he's he's a he's ten years older than I am, and uh, he's a child. Essentially, he's a dependent. Uh, he continues to make the same decisions that cause him to wind up where he ends up every time. And seeing that a guy who has no control over his life, in, in this instance where we're driving down the road, he has no seatbelt on, he has no foundation to hold himself down to while we're in, while we're in a, uh, an uncontrolled scenario, or I have no control over my car, and this guy who has not fastened the car, who could be flying all over the place, is trying to control my me, who I'm fastened in with the seatbelt, have my hands on the wheel, not panicking, but this guy, he has no control over his life, and he's trying to control mine. It just, it just dumbfounded to me, it's like, I'm, sl I'm slow to reaction and slow to anger, but later on, the more I've thought about it, I just wanted to beat the hell out of him, and I don't, I don't know you know, that's not appropriate, but that's how I learn, is uh, from scenarios like that, it opens my eyes, and uh, it just made me think of, am I in control of my own life? 
and how am I letting others control and influence me? And I can't imagine being with a modern woman who has no control over her life. Not, I'm not going to say all women have no control, but from what I've seen, the most part, they're usually dependents themselves. Um, to have that dependent mindset try to wield their control over you will bring you to destruction. Period. End of story. You cannot function like that as a man. That is detrimental to you and to society. So, yeah, if there's women to watch this, you know, get a grip. Battery saver just flashed at me on the phone here. But, yeah, take a look at your lives and examine who's got control over you. Um, I bet there's some guys. They, uh, uh, it was a MGTOW, me MGTOW meeting here recently. Of some of the major uh, content producers were talking about the uh, people, men, whoever, clicking in that don't even have a YouTube account. I, it never occurred to me that there could be other guys just clicking in, not you know, not commenting, who are just watching. And uh, yeah, I just challenge you guys to examine who's in control. Um, you'll know real fast if you put your foot down of who's in control of your life, uh, how these others respond. If you're with somebody else or have uh, or make a stand in your life, and see how people react. You know, are they going to be your friend? Are they going to support you? Or are they going to uh, buck you off the rest of the way? Just some thoughts. It just made me question uh, who's, who's, who's around my life. and I do not feel safe with my brother in the car anymore. Uh, someone take it over, take it, try to take control for me while I'm driving. Uh, I'm fat while I'm fastened in one with the car and the other, this other guy or whoever, you know, whoever may be can't even control his own body and yet trying to control my car. So, yeah, challenge people. See where people are at. You know, see if you make it'll make it'll make you uh, make you see where you stand with others. So, just some random thoughts. I thought I'd share them with you guys. Uh, as always, keep your heads up. Go MGTOW. Happy trails.